Hello everyone, welcome to DCM, Doritos Connections, and Mountain Dew, your favorite local video game talk show. I am your host, Howard. I'm your co-host, David. Let's start off with our first segment. Okie dokie, so um... More bad news. More bad news. More bad news. More... <laughs> Um, so American McGee, which you may not know who this man is, JK, he was the, was he the map designer of Doom? He was the level he, designer. He was, he, he did a couple, I don't know if he did anything for the first, but he was definitely, he definitely worked on this, on Doom 2. All right. And then also the fourth episode when they did Ultimate Doom and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, so, so Doom designer American McGee, he has been trying, he made a game called Alice in Wonderland. It got a sequel in 2011 called Alice the Madness Returns, which is a uh, kind of like a Tim Burton-esque platform, like, you know, action platformer starring Alice from Alice in Wonderland. Mm -hmm. um, very, very hard on the dark fantasy stuff. Yeah, very hard on the dark fantasy. Yeah, no, it, it, it's rated like T and M for like a yeah. reason, mm -hmm. right? Like she, her main weapon's like a, a kitchen knife called the Vorpal Blade, yeah. which she like shanks people with, right? It, it's, it's it's very edgy, but like, you know, Tim Burton aesthetic, Yeah, right? it's, they're, they're very well-regarded games. So he's been trying to make a third one for ever. Yeah, I mean, Madness Returns was 2011, I want to say? Yep. Yeah. So there's no nice way to put it because he made his game with uh, a little known obscure company, Electronic Arts, AKA EA. Um, he, he released this statement. He has exhausted, American McGee has exhausted every option to get a new Alice game but EA decided to pass on the project based on internal analysis of the IP, market conditions, and the production proposal. He showed off, American McGee showed off his, uh, you know, the design Bible of the whole game. Yeah, because he's, he's had a Patreon for people to try and support the project for God knows how long. Yeah. And uh, after several weeks of review, EA has come back with a response regarding funding slash or licensing for Alice Asylum, which would have been the third title. Mm -hmm. On the question of funding, they have ultimately decided to pass on the project. And um, how? So, so they said no. Okay, well, American McGee made the game. So he was like, well, can I take it somewhere else? And they said no. Shocker. They said no. In fact... They said, on the question of licensing, they replied that Alice is an important part of EA's overall game catalog, and selling or licensing it isn't something they're prepared to do right now. You're making a TV show off this game. Are they? Yes. Oh, that's right, they are. What do you, so you're going to make a TV show for a game series in which you won't let the creator make a new one to tie into the TV show. And this, it was supposed to be the last one, right? Yes! It was a trilogy! Which makes, you know, which is okay, kind of so, cool. Okay, so, so here's the question. They do this TV show. How did they end the TV show? They didn't think. They didn't think at all. They're just kind of like hoarding the IP, like Smaug and his treasure. Because yeah. EA has no IPs. They have nothing. They have sports games mm -hmm. and terrible re remakes of older titles, okay? So we're, we're getting... So, like, they, they see an opportunity to tie their new TV show, which I love these games. Yeah. But having a TV show when there's no game seems ridiculous. Like... That's like making a Contra TV show. Why? Wait, no, that's a bad example because they just made one, but it was really bad. What? They made one like two years ago. It was really oh. bad. It was really bad. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Point still stands, all right? It's like making a, you know what? It's like making a Double Dragon game, a movie, or a mm. TV show, and there hasn't been a game in like since, oh God, Neon? I don't know, something like that. You, you would know more than me. So like, I, I, not, it's just mind-boggling. It's like the ultimate, like, like. <laughs> we we aren't gonna make a new game. We're gonna make a TV show. Uh, we're not gonna let this guy make a game. 
uh, we're not going to give get rid of the IP because yeah. we're too busy making a show. And we haven't even gotten to the worst part of this, which is that American McGee announced he's retiring from the games industry because he's just so exhausted of, of being, you know, jerked around throughout this entire process. Again, this this game has been a production thing for a decade. A decade. Yeah. Of course, I I honestly don't. I mean, like, I'm sorry. I feel I feel bad, but I understand completely. Mm -hmm. When you get like thrown around for a decade of ifs and then like ifs and maybes, and then when you like have a full design document, they say no. That has to be like, like what was the point of the past ten years? That's, I don't know. You know what that's I'm saying? The, that's the I would I would also I would like. I mean, he's taking a lot where I would like freak out. Yeah. I would like go mad. <laughs> I mean, he's. I hate to say it, but like at this point, he, he might just be used to it, just because it's it's been so long that he's tr been trying to get this made and it's just been denied at every turn. Every so single part turn. of me thinks he's he's just like whatever. Yeah, you know, whatever. whatever. At this point, I'm done. And you it know. sucks. Uh, you know, you know, he seems like a great guy. I, I seems like a great guy. I like the Alice ob games. Obviously, very passionate about about the project about, about the franchise. But yeah, yeah. Also, I mean, the the one cool thing is if there was a third game, that would mean there'd be an Alice game every decade. Yeah, and I, I mean, I remember talking about this in high school mm -hmm. when you and I were in high school, and he, he was talking about like trying to get this thing made. So it's it's been a while. It's been a while, but uh, it's just not gonna happen. Which it it it's it the game industry baffles me. With that, like, you can, let's just take EA, for example. You can have a game, let's say, cough, cough, I don't know, uh, Dragon Age, and have it be like a tactical RPG, and now they're going to make a new one that's apparently just a God of War 2018 ripoff. Mm -hmm. How do these people make money? With, like, brand, constant... Brand loyalty, I guess. Constant bad idea yeah. after bad idea. It's... it's I'm pretty sure it's just brand loyalty. Like, I... You know, the same reason people buy the annual Call of Duty game year after year with no improvement whatsoever. It's just brand loyalty. It's just... I just don't... And, like... <laughs> I mean, which I guess that also explains why there hasn't been a Shadows of the Damned 2. Mm -hmm. Because, again, EA's just hoarding... The IP, like Smaug, not letting the original yeah. creators touch it, right? Like, <laughs> it, it, it's kind of like Sony with their old IPs. Like, why don't you just do something? If someone's this passionate, you don't need to, like, you don't need to give American McGee, like, Dragon Age 4 budget money. You didn't need to. I don't think the for the first two games were made for much money either. No, in fact, the second one was made as a part of independent program. Yeah, which made which had games being made for the cheap. That's where Brutal Legends came mm -hmm. from. Well, not cheap, but like cheaper than a triple A budget. Right. It was like a double A budget. You know, like like what Purple Purple Lamb Sky did with does with SpongeBob. It was like that range, right? I I would imagine, right? I'm just spitballing here. V vague concepts yeah. to, so you can get the gist. All right. But it's, it's just a ridiculous decision. I don't know why they're doing this, other than the fact that EA is a bad company. <laughs> the, the classic EA bad meme. Like, yeah, but this one just hurts, because I does, really yeah. do like the Alice games. Mm -hmm. They have such, like, if you look at EA's catalog, this game sticks out like a sore thumb. It does, and it just does because, for a good reason. Yeah, of how, like, unique it is, both in art style and gameplay. And we're, we're at a point where indie platforming has been like a big thing for the past yeah, couple it's, of years. Yeah, it's really been making, you know, kind of a comeback. Like ever since Ukulele, which I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Ukulele, but there's been that, like yeah, it, it, that so definitely much it. Yeah. indie 3D platformers, right? So like, I, I would honestly say this is a good time to get on it. I mean, they literally made a Crash 4. Yeah. After 20 years, they made a Crash 4. This is like the perfect time. I know, but not according to EA. Not according to EA, the, the smartest people on the planet, <laughs> apparently. 
so smart. <laughs> I, I, however, if you go to American McGee's Patreon, you can actually read the full plot mm -hmm. synopsis of what he was going to have and see the whole Bible. Uh, go, you know, go support him in any way possible. Yeah, you and know. you see, I mean, he's even though he's he's retired on the video games front, he's still making his um. I don't remember what they're called, but they're like these little plush bunnies that represent like different uh, mental illnesses. Oh my god, that is adorable! Yeah. I didn't even know he did that. Yeah, that's cool. And then it's not it's not just mental illnesses. Like I know that he does one for like, you know, all the different LGBTQ plus uh, categories. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Okay, that's I, cute. I see ads for it all the time. Probably because I'm I'm I follow him on Twitter, but you know that's. <laughs> He also had 3,000 Patreon backers. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, whatever. Big L, E, A. Go back to um, making, hold on. <laughs> okay. Go back to making EA Sports PGA Tour with John Cena and Star Wars. John War Cena? Yeah, John Cena's in it. Why is John Cena in it? I, do you It's think a golf I game. I don't know, bro. Does John Cena golf? I guess he does. And uh, okay. Wild Heart and, well, Star Wars Jedi Survivors made by Respawn. Yeah. So I don't count that. So that'll, but yeah. that'll be good, probably. Yeah, so um, good job, EA, because right now I'm looking and Wikipedia says you've got four games. <laughs> one of which came a, out. One of them's a remake. One of them's a remake. Trash. <laughs> you guys suck. <laughs> Be better developers. Why would they ever do that? <laughs> uh... In one of the weirdest crossovers I've ever seen yet. I think you mean best. Okay, sorry. In one of the best crossovers I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. Japanese gaming publisher Sega. I don't know if you heard it. Oh, I'm scared. They need something to head probably. They are going to buy smart. They are going to buy the company behind Angry Birds for seven hundred and seventy-five million dollars. <laughs> wow. Okay. They have agreed. Calling it, the two companies had made an official agreement. <laughs> calling it a friendly takeover. That's some, I feel like that's an oxymoron, but so, okay. So Sega said that this is mainly, so first of all, they have a mobile company in their repertoire. But <laughs> don't they have like a Sonic Endless Runner? Yeah, but I don't know if they own the company who makes it or not. I don't know. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure that same company made a crash one. Oh, okay. So they're going to have their own personal one. And along with that, they're going to help Ro Rovio, which is the name of the Angry Birds company, mm -hmm. bring their games to other platforms because th there's actually a weird history of them actually getting Angry Birds on consoles. Yeah. There's like, I don't know, someone like, I don't know, Sa Saber Spark or, I don't know, dudes that hide behind cartoon avatars that make two-hour-long video essays explaining this. I'm not going to watch them, but I've seen video titles that exist. Mm -hmm. They've had trouble getting on consoles, okay? So, I get it. I get it. But, like... Is Angry Birds really worth a billion dollars, bro? Mm, maybe in, like, the But not I, in the year of our Lord, 2023. You know, you know what yeah. I do wonder, though? I wonder if this has anything to do with um, them shutting down the original game, the original Angry Birds, because no one, everyone was playing that because no one wanted to get pay, pay the microtransactions for the newer ones. I wonder if that has anything to do with that. Oh my god, yeah, what if they put in all their chips into that version and then it bombed? Oh, maybe. It's possible, yeah. Yeah, because, like, it's really funny because the Angry Birds movie has gotten more, I guess, pop culture relevance yeah. than the games themselves mm -hmm. have. Because it was impossible to escape Angry Birds yeah. for so long. So I mean, the, long. The amount of crossovers they have, 
Oh, yeah. There's at least two Star Wars versions, I know. Yeah. Pretty sure there was also a Marvel one at I some think so. point. Yeah. yeah. Like the like these guys were like a well like like a family IP. Like everyone knew it. Yeah. Um Hold on, this is this is actually funny. Coincidentally, 2023 marks the 10th anniversary of Sega buying JRPG Powerhouse Atlas for 140 million. <laughs> okay. Damn. I can't believe it, you know what? I actually can believe Angry Birds is more profitable than Persona. I actually can believe that. <laughs> yeah, so could I. Yeah. Very very easily. Makes sense. It's just, you know, Persona 5 had way more relevance than mm. anything Angry Birds yeah. has done. Um yeah, it's just it's just like I get the I get the mobile phone thing. Yeah. Because you know, it's the Angry Birds people, but now mm -hmm. we're we're going to get some wild crossovers, right? Yeah, I mean now that the precedent is there, like, what's what's who's to say that we're not gonna get like an Angry Birds Sonic crossover movie? I want an Angry Birds Chow. Oh my god! <laughs> I mean, granted, they haven't had the Chow Garden since Sonic Adventure Two. I don't know. They uh, yeah yeah yeah. So since yeah. two thousand. One, I think that game came Time out. Time to bring it back with the power of Angry Birds. Let's go. I mean, listen, I'm pretty sure they're still supporting Sonic Frontiers right now. So, you know, the time is ripe. Sonic has to outrun the mighty eagle. <laughs> what else? Listen, hey. Sega. I know you're listening. I know you're watching this for a fact. Now is the part where we devolve into fantasizing of yes. how we're going to cross over Angry Birds with every Sega IP. Yes. So first of all, Knights. Not going not gonna to happen because they're never going to make another nope. game. Next game, Yakuza, the best Sega franchise. They're just, they're just going to have Angry Birds in the game. They're, they're just going to have you have, have the, you know all the all little mini games in, in the Yakuza <laughs> games. Angry Birds is gonna just be one of them now. Oh my, you're so right. Because they they have literal arcades where you can exactly. play like Virtua Fight. Exactly. Uh, but Ichiban, the, the new protagonist of the Yakuza games, which are called Like a Dragon now, so doing this for clarity, right? He, he has a cell phone and he does like RPG summons, but the main menu is also a phone. Mm -hmm. So wouldn't it be real funny? Because <laughs> the game takes place the year the games come out. Yeah. He's like, oh cool, now that I'm out of prison, for 20 years, you know what I could do on my phone? You could play Angry Birds. <laughs> you know, you just see Ichiban in the trash with the smartphone. It's like, <laughs> I'm surprised you remember the Angry Birds theme off the top of your head. I only remember those notes. Okay. That's it. But yeah, that'd be so funny. No, I, I can see it happening. Like, dude, the next Sonic car race is gonna be lit. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna You're get the so movie right. Red Angry Bird. I don't know his name. Sorry. I think it's just Red. I think it's just Red. <laughs> is his I, name really Red? I've never seen the movie. But I, I no. think his name is just Red. No, 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 no. Angry Birds movie. Pro, pro protagonist. I didn't know. Oh my it's God, just it's Red. Just... His name's just Red. His name is Red. I didn't know that. Uh, Howard, when are we going to review the Angry Birds movies for, and put those on our tier list? Why? What is with you? Why can't we review, like, good things? Hey, isn't the, isn't the second one supposed to be pretty good? I, I thought people liked the second one. I only know the second one had a Limp Bizkit song in it. I mean, that automatically makes it good. Okay, be on the tier list already. All right. <laughs> I just, you know, you know, sure. If people want it, we'll do the Angry Birds movie. So, hey. Comment. Tell. Let us know in the comments if you want us to review the Angry Birds movies, plural, by, both of them. By typing the comment I, then heart emoji, then angry emoji, and then write the word burbs. <laughs> and then it's, it's that's so how I know. Very specific. That's also okay. how I know you watch the video. That's also true. Because I see you people, you don't comment, and that's okay. But you can't sit there and expect us to make things if you don't tell me what you want, mm -hmm. okay? We're, we're, we're a mutual relationship until we get popular enough where we don't need you peons anymore. The content anymore. is for you, not for us. It's for you. Do you think we wanted to watch all the live action Resident Evil movies? God, no. And the TV show? No. Ugh. 
What else is going to be lit with Sega now that they get angry uh, birds? I'm going to keep going. We're still what, going. What the heck else does Sega have other than Sonic and Yakuza? Oh, God. Bayonetta 4. <laughs> One of her hair stands just drops the bomb bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. What else do we got? Sega IPs. Uh, crazy, uh, crazy Taxi's going to come back and there's going to be like... like I the, would... I would kill for a new crazy taxi. <laughs> yeah, on, on like the dashboard, there's gonna be like like just like instead of the fuzzy die, it's two plush angry yep, birds. Yep. Uh, Super Monkey Ball. The bird's gonna be in the uh, ball. You know, considering how many other different characters were in um, the collection that I can't remember the name of, I could see it. Uh, uh, what was it? Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania or banana, whatever? Banana something or other. Yeah, because it had a Hello Kitty and it yeah. had Kiryu. Yeah, Kiryu and it Sonic. had um, um, Morgana from Persona 5. And it had um, literally a Sega Master System. Yeah. So yeah. Angry Bird could definitely be in that. Uh, football Manager. Uh, yeah, Angry Birds team. Easy. This is so easy. Hold on. L list of Sega IPs. <laughs> <laughs> this this is the segment now. I apologize if you That's wanted okay. something else. Oh, um, what else do we got? Um, condemned Criminal Origins. Oh my Hear God. me out. Hear me out. <laughs> In the two games, the collectibles were dead birds. Oh my Hear God. Hear me out. <laughs> oh my, you're so right. I didn't even consider that. What if they were just punished the Angry Bird and plushies? Oh my God. <laughs> All right, what else? What else we got? <laughs> uh, well, they have a game called Dragon Force that's lit. Echo the Dolphin. What a great way to bring back Echo the Dolphin. <laughs> By having her throw angry birds out of the ocean because yep. we're polluting the ocean. Yeah. Uh, what a great way. Golden Axe. House, House of the, of the Dead. dead. <laughs> yup. Uh, they just had that remake. I like how, like, on the Wikipedia page of Sonic IPs, they literally officially branded uh, Yakuza oh, as I like a dragon. I like how you said Sonic IPs. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Sega IPs. Don't be mad at me, please. Wait, also, this isn't up to date. The newest one, Like a Dragon, Ishin, just came out. Nice try. New Pants Dragoon. Fantasy Star. Hey, Dave, what if we got a classic Final Fantasy Star RPG? But the, the angry birds. <laughs> you need to do turn based combat would, against the pigs. I would unironically play that. I actually think that sounds really cool. <laughs> These ideas are free. Persona. Oh my god. They're that, that, I mean, the, the, with, with Persona, I, I feel like the, the possibilities are endless. Oh yeah, because Persona is just JoJo. So imagine yeah. you're like a, a 16. No, sorry, that's being nice. A 14-year-old child, okay, and you know you're doing the 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 crappy dating sim, right? And then when you when you sh go into people's minds to change their heart, you whip out a gun, and then Red from the Angry Birds movie comes out as your stand <laughs> against the guy who filed his taxes wrong or something. <laughs> oh my God! Keep going. We got more. We got more. Uh, Poyo Poyo, that's that's like that's like Tetris. The yeah, Poyo Poyos yeah, could be yeah, yeah. birds, okay. Uh, we got um. Shenmue. If they make a Shenmue four, which they're not gonna. No, no I'm imagine gonna. the Gotcha game, but it's Angry Birds, <laughs> and you have like Rio holding like the 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 triangle one. I think I saw his name was Chuck. It's Chuck holding Chuck and just putting him in his room. Sonic the Hedgehog we went over. Streets Super of Rage. Streets of Rage. Imagine Mike Hagar oh taking God. a lead pipe over one of the pig's heads <laughs> to keep Metro City safe. New Toad Hill. Wait, no, no. Streets of Rage. That doesn't have. No, that's not Mike Hagar. Um, it's Alex. That's his name. Alex. Al Alex is the guy's name. Mike Hagar's um, final fight. Mm. Toad Hill Mineral. Hold on. Oh my God. Virtual Fighter yep. 5. Yep. Yep. For Virtual Fighter 6, what if <laughs> we had a literal angry bird fighting? <laughs> this is so stupid. I love this. This is a good segment. This is a very good segment. This is a... The licensed stuff. 
that I feel like that you're gonna ride a fine line with that though. The the the, <laughs> the I, I'm looking at Alien oh, in Bleach. I, I know. And I can think of Frogger. I'm looking at Hatsune Miku and I'm looking and there's a lot of funny ideas we can do. Okay. They had initial D, what? They had Evangelion for one year. Oh, okay. All right. Well, no, no. Sorry, guys. No Evangelion Angry Birds crossover. No. Hold on. <laughs> oh, my God. Angry Birds crossover. <laughs> what, is, what is that? What am I looking at? What is that? <laughs> It's, an, it's the Eva Mac button and an angry bird. I can't even, like, tell that it's a bird. It just looks like a bunch of shapes with with the Unit 1 colors. What am I looking at here? This is, we're, we're bullying some, like, seven-year-old's art right now. We're, Hold on. we're go, backing go, down. Go, oh, no, 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 go back up. Go back What's up. that first picture? Yeah. Okay, you, that's just okay. 2014. It's nothing. That's it's absolutely nothing. I, I like. The, I think this kid did a good job. <laughs> okay. I don't know about you. We 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 boost artists here. We don't take we don't take it down. All right. <laughs> they don't have transformers anymore. I know that. All right. Well, we gotta move on, we, man. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I can do this all day. I die my way. This is the but smartest we have business. To talk about. This is the smartest business decision I've ever seen in my life, and it should just stay this way. Whoa, Dave, we're talking about Activision again. You know what that means. What did they do this time? Oh, boy. Well, the new character for Overwatch 2, Lifesaver or whatever, was just announced. But please don't look around the announcement to find out that Activision Blizzard is getting sued by the U.S. government over eSports salaries. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, Department okay. of Justice said soft salary cap in Overwatch League and Call of Duty League violated the antitrust laws. Can, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Can, can Activision do one thing right? Just yeah. one thing. It was called let Microsoft buy them so they can fire everyone. There and look go. how that's going. Okay, w when was that? Like a year ago? Exactly. They've had a year to do something right. Yeah, it's called. I, I don't see anything happening. So, so, <clears throat> so to read this article that was brought to us by the GameIndustry.biz. Thank you, Bre Bre Brendan Sinclair, managing editor. Thank you. They have defied uh, the U.S. Department of Justice filed a civil suit against Activision Blizzard for violating the Sherman Antitrust Act with their uh, Overwatch and Call of Duty League. Video games and esports uh, blah, 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 are among the most popular and fast growing forms of entertainment in the world today. Profe and professional esports players, like all workers, deserve the benefit of comp uh, competition for their services. Uh, Activision conduct, uh, Activision's conduct prevented that from happening. Uh, of course, they denied the charges. So I'm guessing they just like. Hold on. Let me get it. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So essentially, they just got paid like really low salaries yeah. compared to everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, which that is not a good look. Apparently, the Department of Justice has been looking into this since t t 2021. Jeez. But talks to sell the manner fell through. Oh my God. Oh my God. The Department of Justice tried to settle this out of court. And Activision went, no, we didn't do it. <laughs> How do you say we didn't do it to the Department of Justice? I get it if it's like the Californian court where they went, hey, Activision, you have these employees that do nothing but sexually assault people. And then Activision goes, okay, libtard California government. Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, eat shit. Uh. I get it, because that's just like one stake. <laughs> this is the Department of Justice for the goddamn U.S. of A. 
This is like this is like going up to like I don't know Senator Armstrong from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, and then go, ha ha, we didn't do anything. You can't do anything to us. And then Senator Armstrong just eats someone. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like first of all, of course, esports players should be in, uh, objectively paid. Yeah. Like this is obvious. Mm -hmm. If there's gonna be a league, they should be paid the correct amount. Uh, well, you know, worker solidarity, brother. Yeah. Um, but. The fact that they're just gonna get sued by the government, this is this is just embarrassing. Why do they why don't they just please just stop? I don't I at this point I don't think they know how. I don't think they can stop. Like Dave, I hope you realize that right now Activision is making more lawsuits for themselves than video games. Yeah, no, I know. I, I'm, I'm aware. Like this is like like they're they probably have more lawyers than video game developers, <laughs> alright? Yeah. <laughs> And, and the fact that they just they, they announced their first Overwatch 2 character for a game that I don't think anyone cares about. Uh, excuse me, they had a One Punch Man crossover. I don't think anyone cares about. <clears throat> You're right. <laughs> Activision, do better, please. <laughs> that's that's the that, that that's that's the. Uh, the, the gist of this segment. Just you, you for got, God's sake. Well, for Overwatch 2 players, uh, you get a new character. All five of them. And Activision gets a special gift, a lawsuit from the United States Department of Justice. Uh-huh. So who has the better battle pass? <laughs> <laughs> That's for you guys to decide. Uh, I know I'm subscribing to the Department of Justice's battle pass. Mm, I, I would. That sounds like I heard that you could get a Joe Biden skin for Hanzo. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's where we're ending it. What, why does Activision be like this? Why do they just keep doing this? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm so tired, Howard. <laughs> I'm so tired of it all. All right, so Dave, before we can have our legal Angry Birds crossover, why don't we end the episode? But what if I want our Angry Birds crossover? We, we don't have the money. Please, Dave, it's not in the budget. It's not in the budget, please. Well, see, if you subscribe to our Patreon. <laughs> we have, wait, wait, we have a Patreon? No. So if you subscribe to our newly made Patreon page, uh, you can also see <laughs> um, a picture of this guy right yeah so that out of the way subscribe subscribe to our patreon that doesn't exist yet subscribe to our YouTube member subscribe form. to our only fans subscribe to our twitch count subscribe to our um, subscribe star account and subscribe to our is there another um. thing Um, I feel like we're missing the big we're, one. Um, um, our, our, our SoundCloud. Oh, yeah. Subscribe to our SoundCloud. Follow us on Spotify yep. and Anchor.fm. Mm -hmm. Which I think is sp uh, a podcast for Spotify now, yep. anyways. So and really Google matter. Podcasts. Yep. Um, and our Bandcamp. Our Bandcamp. I, we don't really subscribe to, your band, to Bandcamp, do you? Um, uh, no. Uh, okay, so... But you can follow you can us follow on Bandcamp. Us. That's fine. Um, um, follow uh, our... Um, mm, uh, Instagram. Yes, and... Our deviant arts. Whoa, whoa. Mm -mm, cut the, no, no, no. Keep that <laughs> on the down low. Keep that on the down low. You don't want to know what I look up on there. Okay. Um, what are we forgetting? Uh, We're forgetting some. For sure. Subscribe to our Facebook page. Yup. Because <laughs> we know we have a large amount of subscribers. So use Facebook. Uh, <laughs> subscribe to our Reddit page. Yeah. And without further ado, I think that's all of them. I think so. We totally didn't make half those up. That so it's up to you to determine which ones we made up. Yeah, that's, that's the joy of finding them, all right? Yeah. I'm Howard. <laughs> I'm David. <laughs> How good luck. <laughs>